गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन हेलो या गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन शेल वी बिगिन द सेशन ओके सो एनी डाउट्स एनीवन इन द लास्ट क्लास दैट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द पाथ फेज अबाउट द पॉइंट्स अबाउट द टेक्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशंस अच्छो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द टुडेस टॉपिक इज व्हाट आर द वेरियस मैथमेटिकल टूल्स दैट इज यूज्ड इन द डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग दैट मींस व्हाट आर द वेरियस मैथमेट or where what are the various ways by which we can use the digital methods in the digital image or we can use the mathematical methods in the digital image process so this section includes two yeah this section includes two basic principle two principal objective first one is to introduce to you the various mathematical tools whatever the mathematical tool that is available that is used with the mathematical method that is used within this book and to help you to begin the developing a feel or of how these tools are used by applying them to a variety of the basic image processing tasks what are the various image processing tasks that is available for these tool that is available for these mathematical tools and how these tools are applying for a basic image processing task of which various numerous times is used in the discussions now first one is the array versus the matrix operations we have creating the array that means a combination of the similar elements that is the continuous or homogeneous elements array that versus the matrix operation matrix operation mean that is used in the matrix form this is the matrix form a11 a12 a21 and a22 in the same way this is also in the matrix form and the array product of two integer is first column or the first element of the first row and the first column is multiplied with the first row and the first column of the second matrix that is a11 and the b11 in the same way this is a21 and the b21 in the same way this is a1 sorry a12 and the b12 and a22 and the b12 that means the first this is the first element of the first row and the first column this is multiplied with the second element or the first element of the second matrix that is the b11 on the other end when we multiply this is the array product when we multiply the matrix this is multiplied with the each and every column each and every row each and every element of that column that is a11 b11 a11 b b12 in the same way yes in the same way a12 and the b21 so this is multiplied with each and every element this is the major difference A array product means only that specific element will be multiplied will be added up and in the matrix product every column every row will be multiplied with each other and we assume that the array operations throughout this book whatever the array operation that is carried out throughout this book unless stated otherwise that means we are using the array operations in, in this book that is used in the day to day scenario and for example when we refer to raising an image to a power we mean that each individual pixel is raised to that power and we refer to dividing an image by another that means division is between the corresponding pixel pair and so on that means there is a division between the corresponding pair of the pixel that is also available with the corresponding data then uh, next one is linear versus the non linear operations whatever whatever the linear operation whatever the non linear operation that is carried out and one of the most important classification of the image processing method is what whether it is linear or non linear so one of the major we can say the important classification is whether it is a linear method whether it is a non linear method and consider a general operator that is h that produces an output image gxy for a given input image fxy then h fxy equals to gxy it is called as a linear operator or operator if this is used with the this that is the h ai fi xy plus ai fi xy that is used with a different different combination that is ai h fi xy ai h or ag h fi xy and this property is known as the additive property and second property is known as the homogeneous property and as a simple example suppose h is a sum operator then sigma will be used that is the function of this operator is simply to sum its input and to test for the linearity we start with the left hand side and try to prove that it is equals to the right side this is equals to the right side and these are array summation note the sum of the elements of the images and as such the sum of a single image is the image itself where the first step follows from the fact that the summation is distributive so an expansion of the left hand side is equal to the right hand side that means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side of the image 
and on the other hand consider the matrix or the max operation whose function is to find out the maximum value out of the pixels for our purposes here the simplest way to prove that this operator is non-linear and to find an example that the fail can test or the fail the test that will be used with the following two images this is the f1 and the f2 0 2 2 3 6 5 4 7 and the suppose that let a1 e a1 equals to 1 and a2 equals to minus 1 and to test for linearity we again start with the left hand side of equations that is max 1 0 1 2 or 0 2 2 3 then minus 1 6 5 4 7 1 is multiplied with this and each and every element is multiplied with minus 1 so left hand side and the right hand side are not equal in this case so that is not proving the functionality that is not proving the result that is not proving the identity so we have proved in general the max operation is non-linear so we have proved that the max operation whatever we are whenever we are carried out the max operation that is a non-linear operation and there are limited or there are linear operations that are also very important because they are based on a large body of the theoretical subject or theoretical result, practical result that are applicable to the image processing. And when we talk about the non-linear system that are not nearly as well and understood, so the scope of the applications is also or is more limited. That means their scope is also limited, their scope is also application based. And you will encounter in the following chapters what are the various non-linear image processing operation that will be performed that will actually is what is achievable by their linear counterparts and the next one is the arithmetic operations what are the various arithmetic operations that is discussed over here So arithmetic operations between images are array operations which is discussed that means arithmetic operation that means plus minus divide multiply so there are four types of operations that is plus minus divide and multiply that is addition subtraction division and multiplication this is one of the example fxy will be added to the gxy then in the next case fxy is subtracted from the gxy then fxy is multiplied with the gxy then fxy is also divided by the gxy and this is the output that means sxy dxy pxy vxy and it is understood that the operations are performed between corresponding fig fixed uh, the pixel pair in f and g for x equals to 0 1 to m minus 1 then y equals to 0 1 to n minus 1 so this is from the m minus 1 this is from the n minus 1 And it is also understood that the operations are performed between these pairs and from 0, 1 to m, m minus 1 and 0, 1 to till n minus 1. Where m and n are the rows and the columns or rows and the column size of the images. And clearly sp or sdpw are the images of m into n also. And whatever the image that is available in the arithmetic manner that will be defined or that involves the images of the same size. So that means uh, there is a, we can say there is a pattern that is used with the M end to end. And these are the example that are the indicative role that is played by the arithmetic operation in the digital image. Now, let GXY denotes a corrupted image found by the additive or addition of a noise to the noiseless image of the FXY. So this is add, uh, add with the noise and the noiseless mouse. So one is a noise that is NXY, one is a noiseless mouse that is a FXY. Where the assumption is that, where the assumption is carried out with the activity, where the assumption is carried out with the with the data that is used with the zero average value. And the, what is the main objective? That is to reduce the noise content by adding a set of the noisy images. And this technique is frequently used for the image enhancement. Whenever we want to enhance an image, that image will be enhanced, that image will be carried out with the image enhancement 
and if the noise satisfies the constraint, whatever the constraint, whatever the difficulties, whatever the tool that we are using, that constraints will be carried out for the image enhancement. And if the noise satisfies the constraint thus stated, it can be shown that if the image GX is formed by the averaging. So we are finding the average of this. that is used with a zero average value and what is the main objective to reduce the noise and if the noise satisfies the constraint thus stated it can be shown of an image that is a g bar x y that is found by taking the average average of the x that is taking the different noisy images so this is the g x y that is they are taking the average 1k from i equals to 1 to the k then g i x y in the same way that it follows or that then then it follows that e g x y equals to f x y and it is expected value of the g and uh, these are the variance of the g and the n that is the noise also all at the coordinate x y and the standard deviations that is the square root of the variance at any point in the average images this one and as the k increases that also indicate that the variability by the variance of the standard deviation of the pixel value at each location also decreases. This means that the GXY also approaches as the number of the noisy images are used in the averaging process. And in practice, whenever we are going to do the practice at the images, GXY must be registered in order to avoid the introduction of the blurring. And that means the image cannot be blurred for this. This is one of the example. This is the image of the galaxy pair. This is the NGC corrupted by the additive nucine from B to the F. And whatever the discrete version of the continuous integration that is used also with the process, that is used with the method, that is described to include the integration capability of the CCD or a similar sensor for the noise reduction by observing the same scene over the longer period, over the longer period of time. And cooling also is used to reduce the sensor noise. And the net effect that is analogous to averaging a set of the noisy digital image. So that is, that is used with the noisy or that is used with the average of the noisy digital image. And the frequent application of image subtraction is an enhancement of the difference between the images. This is the image subtraction for enhancing the differences. That is, the image will be um, subtracting out to enhance the image. This is GXY equals to FXY minus HXY. In this case, HXY, the mass that is used for the X-ray image of a region of the patient body that is captured by the intensity by TV camera that is located opposite to the X-ray serif source. Now, what is the procedure that consists of injecting an X-ray contrast medium to, into the patient's bloodstream that taking a series of the images known as the live images of the same anatomic reasons and subtracting the mass from the series of the incoming live images after injection of the contrast medium. And when we talk about the net effect, that is net effect of subtracting mass from each sample uh, live images that the care area that will be used, that are used between the areas in the output image that is an enhanced entity. Because the images can be captured at TV rates, this procedure in essence gives a movie showing how the contrast medium propagates through the various arteries in the area being observed. And whenever it is showing the X-ray marks on the top of the patient's head prior to the image, prior to the injection of an iodine medium to the bloodstream, that is a sample of the live image taken after the medium was injected. This is for one of the examples of how the medium will be injected over here. 
and this is the infrared image of the Washington DC area image obtained by setting to zero the least significant bit of every pixel and this is the difference of the two images that is scaled to the range 0 to 255 for clarity and there's a digital uh, subtraction and uh, that is used with the angiography and that is used with the mask image live image difference between the images that is the enhanced image uh, difference image one, and one of the most important application of the image multiplication and the division is shading correction this is also one of the main method that is how to uh, do the multiplication and the division that is a shading correction that is also modeled as a, a, a product of the perfect image And this is a shading correction. This is a shaded SEM image of a tungsten filament and the support that is magnified with the approximately 130 times. That is a shading pattern product reciprocal. And there are various standard format that is used that is also known as a TIFF for the JPEG. Now, what is the full form of TIFF and what is the full form JPEG? That is a joint photographic expert group. And this is the equation that is used with FX equals to KMMX FM. Next is a set and the logical operations. So we have done with the mathematic operations. We have done with the array and the matrix. Now next is the set and the logical operations. What are the various kind of terms? That is, what are the various operations in the set? That is set A, set B. What are the various operations in the logical operations? So let A be the composed of the order pair of the real number. That is A equals to A1, A2. That is an element of A. This is like this one. AC. This is A equals to A union B. Then D equals to A intersection B that is not equals to zero and there's a set universe that is a set of all the elements in a given application and by definition all the set elements in a given application are the member of the universe that is defined for that application only and if, if you are working with a set of the real number then the set universe is the real line which contains all the real numbers that is used with the universe to contain to be the rectangle containing all the pixels in IMS this is used for the complement so the complement of the set is a, a set of the element that are not in the A complement means whatever the data that is not available in the A that is a complement of the set A and the difference means whatever the data that is available in the A but not available in the B that is the difference of the two sets complement means the element that is taken out with this and the difference of set means whatever the data that is available in the A is not available in B these are the two sets of the images these are the uh, pictures of the skeleton now what are the various logical operations that is termed as a foreground and the background foreground and the background color that is used with the one valued and the zero valued set of the pixels then if we define the reasons as the object has been composed of the foreground pixel, the set operations is used with the coordinate of the objects in a binary image. Next is spatial operations that is used for a single pixel operation, neighborhood pixel operations. This is the equation that is used for the set pixel equations. Uh, that, sorry, that is used for a single pixel operation that is used on the digital image to alter the values of the individual pixel based on their identities. Intensity that is S equals to TZ, where Z is the uh, intensity of the pixel in its original form and it is the map data, map intensity of the corresponding pixels. Then next one is the neighborhood operations that is used with the coordinate of a neighborhood that is centered on a point on an or in an image that generate a corresponding pixel at the same coordinate in an output so that the value of each pixel is determined by a specific operations in an input image.